and welcome back. I hope everybody is doing okay out there again today. Now today, the jewelry project we're gonna be tackling today is gonna be a cute pair of earrings. Now I've already made two pieces to this project that are not made out of resin, and here they are. I made this cute little base for the earrings, which has just a little bit of designs in the background and then some twine to make a cute little pattern. And then also, this adorable freaking tiny little sunflower. So let's get into it so I can show you how this and this and a little bit of resin are gonna make some cute earrings. First off, make sure your hands are protected with some disposable gloves. You'll need something disposable to mix with. Of course, a mixing container with measures on the side. Our dynamic duo, the resin and hardener. A little torch to combat those nasty bubbles. And lastly, your silicone mold. Our first step is to grab your bottle of hardener and pour one part into your mixing container. And don't forget to keep your bottles clean by giving them a quick wipe before putting the cap back on. Now it is time to grab your bottle of resin. Now put one equal part into the same mixing container. Once everything is measured out, then it is time to hit start on your three minute timer. At this time, it is very crucial that you mix these two things together very slowly so we can avoid any extra bubbles. Six, five, four, three, two, one. I am glad to be done with that tedious step. Once you have your mixture ready, now it's time to fill up some of the circle molds so we can choose one that will perfectly fit our earrings. Now we wait 10 minutes and it's time to debubble these bad boys. All right, so get your trusty torch out and make sure you just lightly and very quickly brush the top with the flame to get rid of the surface bubbles. But you also wanna avoid holding it one place for too long or else you could warp the resin. All right, you guys, I thought that was pretty quick and painless. Now we wait 72 hours for our reveal. All right, you guys, so it has been a few days and now these little circle beads are finally ready to come out. So I'm just gonna pop these out and then glue this little flower onto the back of them and then glue that to the little backing I made earlier. So I'll be right back to show you guys the full final look. All right, you guys, so they're all done. So here's what they look like. I think they turned out so awesome. That little sunflower looks so good with that resin bead. It makes it pop so well. They're just like cute and like gardeny vibes, you know? I love it. But I will show you guys them on for the final look. All right, you guys, so there they are. I think they turned out super duper cute, you guys. Like, I love that little sunflower. Oh my God. That is honestly the cutest thing I've ever made. <laughs> but this one's a little bit cloudy just because the glue hasn't fully dried yet. But I think overall they look super cute, you guys. Aww. Let me know what you guys think, because I love them. Don't forget to like and subscribe, you guys. It really helps me out to know if you guys are enjoying the videos and you wanna come back for more. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out my last week's video, which was making a really adorable little Zodiac keychain. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial because I had tons of fun making these adorable sunflower earrings. I hope you guys have a really good rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time for something fun.